How are you ready Ward and welcome to my review for Where This is a film which we really wanted to see since last year. Since I very first saw that trailer, it, it basically hooked me. I have never seen a werewolf movie that embraces actually being a werewolf in a sense. There hasn't been a decent solo werewolf movie since this little baby. And I finally, finally got to see this movie today and it was freaking awesome. So let's talk about Where. Why did you break up the sun? So Where is directed by William Bell who brought us uh, The Devil Inside and uh, Stay Alive, uh, two films that had some pretty good concepts, I thought they were pretty decent horror titles, they weren't amazing or great or anything but I, I enjoyed what they were, I thought the cinematography was good, I just felt uh, there's some issues in terms of like the, uh, the story and some of the payoffs, uh, Stay Alive had a director's cut in the US which is a much better version, uh, which is a better cut overall and The Devil Inside is a good movie up until of course the last ending which kind of felt like needed a third act but both movies I thought were very well directed and they both had some interesting ideas this movie is his third project and I think he's doing quite well for himself I think this is his best one yet safe to say that for sure and it's finally good to see an actual werewolf movie that embraces being a werewolf and actually pulling off a good concept and actually taking it to a modern genre and it's a modern audience which without having werewolves popping into vampire movies I mean seriously well American werewolf in London is probably you know, put on that side, there hasn't been many werewolf movies that successfully have stood its ground in a sense. There has been a couple of uh, hints of a found footage movies coming out soon. I think there's meant to be like a werewolf movie in prison that's due to come out, but I'm not sure when that's com meant to come out in a sense. Uh, there has been other titles like, you know, Underworld, of course, with vampires, and of course, got the Twilight Blast franchise. But, you know, these are all kind of like collaborations, and there's been more vampires and supernatural elements, you know, monsters in a sense, recently that have taken over the box office and in terms of modern cinema and mostly independent films I've focused more on monsters but yet no one has really tackled a werewolf movie in such a long time and it's such great to see a movie that does that and I felt it was a very enjoyable movie um, the main story for well, well for where basically is um, a basically an attack happened on this kind of campsite it's a full moon uh, this kind of family was ripped to shreds uh, this, this kid and uh, the husband character completely mutilated, you know, decapitated, all that kind of crap, and uh, they have a suspect, basically they've been trying to find who's, who's responsible, is it man, is it creature, is it beast, kind of thing like that. They have a suspect that kind of matches the profile, and this kind of lawyer character is kind of like, basically, nah, you, how can you possibly have done that? You know, you have a symptom, you have a certain type of disease, and I'm going to prove you innocent in a sense, and as typical movies you know it it does go in that direction like oh he happened to be a werewolf in a sense uh the trailer makes it out to be a kind of a fast-paced action kind of found footage type movie um it's a bit misleading in that sense uh the first 40 minutes is a lot of character development and setup but it's actually well paced and well done uh so if you've seen the trailer unfortunately you've seen a lot of the best stuff in terms of the last half an hour which is a bit annoying but at the same time it made me want to watch it in that way the first 40 minutes i thought was very good in terms of of course set character development, setting up the main um, origin story arc uh, of, you know, of the wear in a sense and you know uh, for, for getting a kind of scientific background into you know explanations and you know the idea of news reports or kind of sharing off what would be pretty effective pretty cool and you know I like, I like the uh, the French police angle to it in a sense it's pretty cool it's kind of like half American half English half French in a way, there is quite a few subtitles during the movie, so that was quite, I thought, quite interesting. But being the fact it's said in France, I thought that was a quite a good little like thing to kind of uh, hint at the hint kind of thing on that. And I like the fact there was a lot of subtitles, you know, it's nice to see an actual French movie, you know, even though there's English you know, characters and English actors in them, it was quite a bit of French subtitles, I thought it was quite good, quite good to be honest. Well, so the last half of the movie is what every Wubble fan wants to see in a sense. Lots of, you know, gore, lots of, you know, it, lots of violence and trust me there's a lot of violence in this movie especially one really cool shot in the trailer uh, we get to see of course uh, the werewolf character you know, you know getting bigger and stronger in a sense and he's ripping through squad members busting through you know bullets in a sense pretty cool I have to say in terms of the camera work uh, the actual style in terms of the actual camera work style in terms of the movie it's kind of like TV camera crew slash documentary style tile um, it's not quite found footage it's not quite you know um, on location it's, it's got that kind of um, end of watch type thing those type of movies it works to its benefit and I think it gives it a bit more of an on location feel in terms of like oh show me there's something on 
the loose type kind of, kind of thing. I think it was pretty effective in terms of camera work, so good job there for sure. Uh, of course, the last half an hour has some pretty freaking awesome action scenes and has a lot of payoff and it has a lot of, you know, further development. And there's a couple of surprises here and there which I generally wasn't expecting to see, which I'm not going to say too much once you enjoy and expect it, but it does have a good payoff and it does have a couple of good little, little winks here and there to kind of you know, to expand the story in a way. I don't think he'll do a sequel, I think this is a one-off. They could do another one if they want to, but I don't think it's, it'll benefit in any way. I think it's a nice sort of one-off movie. You know, uh, the pacing I thought was very well done. I think the action scenes are definitely well pay off. That's a good violence, that's a good werewolf, you know, kind of related origins in a sense. Uh, actually, some pretty very good characters in it as well in terms, you know, some British and American cast and French and stuff like that. So very multi-region cast members are so very, very good. So yeah, uh, where it's a very satisfying movie overall, it has good cinematography, it has good acting, it has good setup, it has exactly what I wanted to see on the tin, and then actually has a werewolf movie being a fucking werewolf and actually not being in love with Bella from Twilight, which is just such a relief. <laughs> so there you go, folks, that's been my review for Where. I hope you enjoyed watching this review. What did you think of the movie? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's about any opinions? Comment down below. So in the meantime, I should be. Sing out.